Inside the news of the world and the beginning of the end of Britain's biggest paper. These are the first pictures from inside Fortress Wapping since the tabloid that brought down so many was itself engulfed in terminal scandal. The paper's staff, most of whom were not even working here when the alleged offences took place, were told three days ago that the title was closing down. They know tonight they put their newspaper to bed for good. Obviously this is a devastating day for all of us at the News of the World. I am so proud of my colleagues who have continued this week in absolutely trying and very personally and professionally difficult circumstances in such a professional manner. And we're putting out a great paper for tomorrow. It's going to be a massive tribute edition. And we feel proud about what we're doing today. Outside and newly released on police bail, the man who was at the helm when much of the alleged phone hacking was going on. This is a very sad day for the, uh, for the news of the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, more importantly for the staff. You know, yeah, they, are, absolutely. they are brilliant, uh, to my mind, brilliant professional people and I really, I really do feel them. Thank you. Thank you, Flying in tomorrow on what is said to be a scheduled visit, Rupert Murdoch, the man who personally presided over the decision to kill off the news of the world, the first British paper he owned. At stake, his billion pound deal to take control of B Sky B. Rupert Murdoch's been the most dominant media mogul in Britain for decades and all of a sudden he's lost control. He may not get his B Sky B deal. He's closing the first paper he bought in London back in 1969 and he's just engulfed by these legal and political crises. So he'll, he'll come over, he won't be a very happy man. What happened in this newsroom and precisely who knew what has ramifications far beyond the news of the world. The media regulator Ofcom has said it will be asking police whether the allegations against News International mean its parent company, News Corporation, is no longer a fit and proper company to own B Sky B. Back in the newsroom and a memo sent by the editor Colin Myler to staff today has been leaked. It's not where we want to be and it's not where we deserve to be, he told them, but I know we will produce a paper to be proud of. Katie Sallard, Sky News.